When studying the Messianic Aleph Tov scriptures, one of the first truths we need to understand is that the original language that the majority of the Old Testament Tanakh was written in was Paleo-Hebrew. And in order to understand the depth of what Moses or the prophets were trying to say, we need to have some understanding of each of the Paleo-Hebrew letters. This language is not only thousands of years old, but it was used for thousands of years. And it may come as a surprise that there were no conjunctions like and or but or even subordinate conjunctions like that or as or if and no definite or indefinite articles like the or a or an. As these little words that we so easily take for granted in our English language today when we communicate with each other did not exist with the extremely primitive pictorial language of Paleo-Hebrew. And yet that is the language that not only they used to communicate with each other, it is the language Father used to communicate with Moses and write with his finger in stone the Ten Commandments. Even vowel points were not used in Hebrew until the Masorites started creating and using them sometime between the 8th and 10th century A.D. in order to begin to create more words. So if we really want to try and understand what the authors of the Old Testament Tanakh were trying to convey in their writings, we have to understand the meaning of the original Paleo-Hebrew letters and remove the filler. When I first started putting together the Messianic Aleph Tav scriptures, all I was focusing on was locating the Aleph Tav character symbols. And my goal was to find all of them and copy them exactly from where they were located in the Hebrew text and place them exactly between the same two English words. And most of the time, I had to rewrite the sentence in order to accomplish this. And this is why just to do the first five books of the Torah and all the Hoff Torahs took me over a year to do. It was a labor of love, and I learned a lot. But it took Father showing me a revelation in a dream while I was sleeping that caused me to first begin to focus my attention on the Vav Aleph Tav used in Genesis 1-1 as the sixth word, which is translated as the conjunction and. But I soon found out that the relevance of why it was placed there was just as important in the meaning as the Aleph Tav in Genesis 1-1. As I began to study the sixth letter in the Aleph Bet, the Paleo-Hebrew letter we suspiciously refer to as Vav, Father began to truly open my eyes. Until then, I took for granted, as most people do when reading their Bibles, that the conjunction and was just part of the original Hebrew text. Then I began the quest to find all the Vav Aleph Tavs in the Hebrew text. And I found that when the Vav Aleph Tav was used in a verse, it was simply another Aleph Tav. And the Hebrew letter Vav was actually used to connect the two Aleph Tavs together, just like in Genesis 1-1, which places the first Aleph Tav before heavens and the second Aleph Tav with the connecting letter Vav before the word earth in the famous phrase, in the beginning created Elohim, Aleph Tav, the heavens, Vav Aleph Tav, the earth. I can assure you the last thing Moses was trying to do was imply the conjunction and in that verse or any other verse where the Vav Aleph Tavs are used. The conjunction and did not exist. The Paleo-Hebrew letter Vav means to bridge or connect, and that is exactly what it is doing in Genesis 1-1, and setting the precedence with the second Vav Aleph Tav, the Vav connecting the two Aleph Tavs together, so that it was the Aleph Tav that created the heavens and the Aleph Tav that created the earth. So important was this letter that the scribes, when copying the scrolls, began each sentence with a vav in order to connect 
the living word onto the scroll. It is also interesting to understand that the Paleo-Hebrew letter Vav also means and represents man. So consequently, all the Vav Aleph Tavs in the Old Testament Tanakh have a far more significant meaning than we have been led to believe as the conjunction and. I began to see this for the first time as I hunted them down one by one and saw where they were placed in the Hebrew text. I call the Vav Aleph Tav the Ditto Aleph Tav because it means the same thing and there are exactly 2,251 Vav Aleph Tavs in the Old Testament Tanakh. And their placement in the verse is just as significant as the 7,339 Aleph Tavs, as you will see when you begin to read the Messianic Aleph Tav scriptures. A case in point would be in Numbers 26, verse 59, when speaking of Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, who gave birth to, as it says, Aleph Tav Aaron. Vav Aleph Tav Moses, Vav Aleph Tav Miriam, their sister. When I first saw this verse, I thought, why does Aaron have an Aleph Tav in front of his name, and Moses and Miriam do not? I didn't even notice the Vav Aleph Tav before Moses and Miriam's names, because I had been brainwashed into thinking it was the conjunction and. But the truth will make you free, and it does so by giving us understanding. Friends, this was amazing to me, and you will see it too. When you begin to read the Messianic Aleph Tov scriptures, I'm Bill Sanford, trying to put the Aleph Tov in proper perspective in our day. Shalom.